Good evening, everybody. It has been a long ass time. I hope you're ready for some cyborg. I'm ready for some, some cyborg. How about you guys in the in this little little screens we have up here? Are you guys Absolutely. ready for some cyborg? Yeah. All right. Good. I'm ready. So um, ready the Borg out. If you guys don't know what cyborg is, it's a cyberpunk game by um, the stock. Oh, there's that sound again. Do you guys hear that chat? Do you guys hear the weird symbol oh, sound? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, it's a, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, we got a hype train. Thank you very much. I got to get some tunes Ooh. going. What am I doing? Hang on. Some well, some, guys, we some, had, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, We're a little we rusty. A little rusty. There we go. And you guys, yeah, um, you guys sound. in Foundry, there it goes again. Oh, it's a Listen, subscription. I know what it is. Calm all down. right. All right. I got it. The drums. We forgot to to talk about what our alert boxes were gonna look like for this. So let me just change the alert box. We can listen. We got this. So anyway, this is a riff on the Merc board rules. So it's gonna be very familiar mechanically for all of you guys out there. But tonight is our zero session. We are doing character creation. Maybe we'll talk a little bit about the game. We'll see uh, where we get time wise. But before we begin. Got to thank some people. Uh, the lovely, the magnificent McGlintlock, who uh, developed this amazing foundry system. Um, thank you so much, man. Go check him out at glumdark.com. He's got a great Patreon over there with a bunch of sweet roll tables. Also, um, I'm not sure if you're listening, Mr. Carl Casey at White Bat Audio, but thanks for the tunes, man. Uh, go check him out. Uh, you can listen to him for free on any... You can stream him for free as well. Uh, and... That's all we got. How are the how are the alert situation looking like? I'm getting there. You're getting there. <clears throat> you gotta you gotta pick a cyborg alert. It's kind of bright in here though, guys. Them. So I gotta do one more thing. Nice. Now, oh, now I'm gosh. ready to go. Here we go. Is that a filter? No, no, man. The this is this these? is straight. Are these are my. We're going analog on this these shit. are yeah. We're going analog. This is IRL <laughs> cyborg glasses. Hopefully, it's not too dark. Hopefully, I can read my my screens. We'll see. But anyway, who we got in the chat? We got sculpting chin. What's going on, man? It's been a while. Don't do it, Jess. Don't do it. Right, How's audio right, coming through in the chat? Does everything sound crisp and clear? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I don't hear. You don't hear anything. You don't know what's going on. <laughs> All yeah, right. Well, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. so first and foremost, does everybody have access to their token? Can you guys all click on it? Do you have access to edit it? Let's start there. I don't. You don't? Yeah. Can I get a link? Uh, oh, yeah. It's in, the, it's in the Discord chat. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's in the God. Channel. I don't Stained. Really added to a channel yet. Yeah, yeah, I look. I was looking at it earlier. I didn't realize that. I saw the zoom link. It's got me here. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. What I'm gonna do now, everybody, is I'm going to pull the PDF up so you lovely viewers can check it out as well, as we work our way through creating some punks. Let's see if I can get this going here. There we go. Oh man, look at that! I'm already at the character creation part too. So, first question to all of you guys out there, playing anyway. Um, are you guys, is anybody going to do a classless character? Are you guys all going class? And we're all class. Are you all classy? <laughs> I think I'm classing. Classing? Jess, classing? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely. Yeah, I'll, I'll be classy. All right. Okay. So, first things first. Well, what class do you guys want to, what, what classes do you guys want to be? That's are the one thing. Rolling? Do we roll for yeah. class? That's the one weird. Uh, you can randomize a class if you wish. I'm down for a roll for random class. Oh shit! Okay. Why don't we? It's a yeah, it's a start... it's a it's a d6. If you guys want to randomly select your class. Well, if I don't like it, I'll pick it then. After. <laughs> nah. So what page? What page? <laughs> page, what page is we... 42. Well, actually, sorry. That's where the Shonda Nano comes into play. That's where I am right now. Because you guys don't want to pick so, classes, so I figured I'd go straight there. Yeah, so because what we're... I don't know, I've been trying to fix all of these symbol sounds because you've been going fucking nuts. So we've already said that this is just <laughs> a, our zero session character creation. Yeah, we've done it. Our, we've done it. Tonight. Yeah, all right, zero session. 
No more sans symbols, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully you got to work Remind out. Remind me next time to uh, switch off of that. We're okay. going to turn the um, extra loud next time. Well, they're so loud, but I have it set where the stream can't hear it, but I hear it. So, gotcha. But apparently Jason has it set where everyone can hear it. Jason, the drums are just in so, your head, man. No one else can hear them. I know, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> so since we are choosing classes, I'm showing everybody on the screen. You can see right here, this is how you make a punk. So we're doing the optional hacks, meaning we're skipping all of this. But uh, I guess we could talk about abilities really quickly here. So um, they've added a little bit compared to Merkborg. So we have agility, knowledge, presence, strength, and toughness. So we'll see how that Ooh. plays out. Well, What's I feel up? like we should really, I feel like it would be really pertinent to talk about uh, like the core rule of the game, rule zero zero on page 37. Okay, we can start with page 37. Wait, let me get to page 37 here. Does my page up work? Oh, four, five, right there, six. Yeah, yeah. Right here, okay. Oh, this rule? This is such the a punk rule. rule matters, but it's ironically... The only unbreakable rule. Ironically, how punk is that? Making rules? Come on, man. Rule zero is <laughs> player characters cannot be lo loyal to or have sympathy for the corpse, the cops, or the capital of the system. They might find themselves reluctantly forced to do missions for them. Yes, they very much so will. Um, uh, but make no mistake, they're the enemy. So it's a punk book, but giving you rules. I don't quite get it. But anyway, it's just a game, guys. Hey, listen, no ethical consumption under capitalism. So uh, we're skipping this part. Uh, this is like if you want to make a classless punk. So let us get into, uh, you guys want to roll? Are you guys all, oh yeah, you said you're going to roll randomly to see what you get. It's 1d6. Yeah. So everybody, why don't you guys roll me 1d6 unless some of you want to choose your, uh, your, your class. Up to you. I rolled a five. You rolled a five. So that is, uh, who is that? I think that's the... The big buff baddie. Three. Wait, where four, does it five. say? Five. Oh, did I tell you? You are a uh, a renegade cyber slasher. So this looks like oh. this looks like your uh, your style, Mr. Ogre Pants, right here. That's a good one. He's like a. Um... You are death incarnate, a frenzied flurry of chrome, murder, and blood stained steel, but you yours is no mindless rage. You match your trained and cybernetically enhanced body with an equally dis di man, this this font, kill me. Disciplined mind. You used to kill for a cause for an ideal. How? Uh now or now you kill for money. So And this is more or less what you look like. So do you want to do that one? Yeah, sure. All right. Well, uh, why don't you guys? How come I'm not seeing rolls in the roll table? Well, what page is the, the actual roll on for the roll table that gives you the? It uh, just tells you um, if you look in the upper left-hand corner of the uh, each class, there's a a number, like this one says five, and if you look at the oh, uh, there it is optional classes yeah, yeah, yeah. six one. Woo! Found it. Got it. There you go. Yeah, D6, so Shunned Necromancer is one, uh, Burn, <laughs> Burn Hacked, Burned Hacker is two, uh, Discharged Corp Killer is three, four is Orphaned Gearhead, and we know what five is. So did you guys, anybody else roll? roll oh yeah, two. yeah. Six. All right, yeah, six, two. six. Two and a three. I see a three, Ryan. Yeah, but what is six? You counted a five. Oh. Oh, Six for taking game goon. goon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so did we all roll different numbers? We didn't double up at all? We got a two That's and fine. a three and a five. And Ducky, did you roll yet? Yeah, I got a six. Yeah, a six. Okay. All right. So um, so we, we already talked about Jess. So Ryan, you got a three, which is... Uh, let me scroll up a little bit. 
Discharge Corp. Oh, well, look at that. Good soldier and bad company, always fighting someone else's war in the name of greed. Capitalism crushed your enthusiasm quickly enough, and you were discharged without severance. Yeah, I might go with this one. All right. <laughs> and Hunter, you got a two. And a burned hacker. Oh, the hacker. Okay, cool. All right, so what you guys need to do, do you guys all have a copy of the PDF, right? Yes? No? Yes. Oh, yeah, he's got the full-on book. Okay. So, uh, really, all you need to do is look at the very top of each one, and it will tell you what you need to roll. Oh, my God, the Foundry module, too. Yeah, it should make it easier, guys. So, let's start with... Uh... Let's start with Jess and see what, what you got to do here. So your HP is toughness plus 10, D3 glitches. So for body and soul, so you roll 3D6 plus 1 for strength and presence. And you roll 3D6 minus 2 for knowledge. Uh, okay. So 3D6 plus 1. Yep. So do that first, and that could be strength or presence, whatever you want to do. Okay, you got a ten, which is um, how does that what what is how, what does that modifier figure to? Let's see here. Yeah, feel free. Don't wait for me, guys. Go for it. Um, so you got a ten. Uh, that's a plus zero. Six. Is, so a is there a way is a plus one. to pull in the various classes? Because mine says class look punk, but if I try to do the edit section, it just takes me to a page where I can retype it. Is there are there class specific ones, or is it all just oh McGlintlock? I see McGlintlock in the chat. Let's see what he says. Yeah, well, the creator of the Foundry module we're using. Heck yeah. You can drag that. That's always the answer, and I never fucking remember. What do you say? You can drag it's, them it's from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The compendium. the compendium. If you guys do not know how to use That's the compendium, it. guys, it's in the upper right-hand corner. It looks like a little, uh, little book, little closed book, book in the menu. If you click on that, you're gonna have ac ac access to um, everything: apps, armor, oh, class. Nice. Yeah. All right, so um, let's see, what else do we got? Let me know when you guys have all of your stats ready. And if you wanna know what the actual uh, modifier equates to, that is on page, no page number, 40. Boom, there it is. Got it? Well, should we should we at least walk through one entire class for the zero? Yeah, who, who, wants, the, uh... to, who wants to volunteer? Any volunteers to walk through your your character sure. creation? I'll, you want to do it, Ryan? Through the discharge core killer. So I just dropped discharge core killer into the. Um, Here we are. Into the foundry module. So that is up. So what's up next? So um, you need to roll for your abilities or your stats anyway. Um, so roll three d six minus one for knowledge and presence. Let's do that first. 36 minus one. Got a 13. 13. I think that's a zero plus a zero. Nope. Did you do it twice? You got to do it both for, um, do it again for presence. What's up, Insane Ozo? Okay. Uh, I got uh, two 13s. Awesome. 213, so that's a plus zero. Now you need to roll um, 3d6 plus two for your toughness. Two, 3d6 Wait, plus... Wait, is it 13 to 14 plus one? Oh shit, maybe you're right. You're right, I'm sorry. 13 Damn to 14 it, is Jason. plus one. 
Okay, so first of all, I'm the Discharge Corp Killer. I already said I'm good company, bad soldier. So my HP is my toughness plus D8. I got D2 glitches. Mostly Scar Jarhead. So roll 3D6 minus one for knowledge and presence. That's what you said. Um, so I get a one in knowledge and presence. Uh, yeah, if you got a 13 to 14 is plus one. All right, so I got a one knowledge. Presence, that's knowledge, okay. And then because I'm tough, tough as, as nails, nails I roll 3d6 plus two for toughness. Right. I got a 15. Ooh, nice. That is um, plus two. Toughness. So I got a two for that. And then. Now what are your remaining rolled... abilities you need to roll? Well, it says. Oh, I have to roll all the other ones regular, right? So I got strength, I got agility, and I got oh, and I already I get two glitches because it says I start with no D two glitches. So let me just roll a D two. Okay, and for viewers out there, a glitch is basically like a um, an omen in Merkborg. So you can uh, blah, 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 blah. let me look them up really quick. I forget. Glitches. It is deal maximum damage, reroll a dice, lower damage taken by D6, neutralize a critter fumble, or lower one test DR by negative four before rolling. Exactly the same. Um, and then, so that's all the modified ones I get for having a class. My knowledge, my presence, and my toughness got modified. Um, I rolled D4 plus one for armor. Yep. Um, or armor. Woo. Ooh, and your auto fire tests are always negative one DR. That's and for the viewers fair. out there, that is the difficulty rating that they're trying to roll against to succeed. Where, where do I put my armor? Where is armor? Oh, cool. It actually has. Like if you click on the discharge core killer, it'll bring up a whole list of like what 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 you get and stuff. So it says credits, you roll this, debt, you roll that, hit points, I roll this, glitches, I roll that. Um, oh, where can I put my? Go ahead. What's up? Just where can I put my armor? Don't see that. We got a we got an actual suite in the chat, everybody. My buddy Matt is in the chat, and he is explaining how. Um, we're mispronouncing it. I already knew that, but oh, yeah. th thanks Listen, for people who I mean, didn't come know. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then I just rolled 3d6 for all the rest of my ones. So one, two. Well, I rolled 3d6 times twice. 3d6. 3D6 times two. Yep, for the remaining ones. Yep. Ar okay, McGlintlock right, says armor is in another compendium and you can drag it in. Ah, uh, there we go. There you go. I got a 12 and a 7. You got a 12 and a 7 for, uh, okay, so 12 is, let me scroll back up here. 12 is 0 and a 7 is negative 1. Dope. All right. So I am not a fast boy. Excuse me, so that's it. And then I got um, 4 armor. Uh, Sure. Yep, okay. There we go. All right. All right, armor. Here we go. Let me know when you're ready to move on because you get to roll out some other, roll up some other things. Because you took something from your employer when you left the force. What was it? It's a D6. How's everybody else doing with their characters? Any questions, problems? Nope, just rolling the extra stuff. Okay. I'm going to ask a dumb question here. It says I rolled D4 plus one for armor, but isn't armor all based on like the tier of armor that I already have? So how do I roll D4 plus one for armor? Is it like on a list somewhere? Let's find like, armor. I, I did this earlier, but I completely forgot. Where is armor? Yeah, I was say, it's gotta be on an Here armor we go. Table, armor. Right? So there's weapons. 1d4 plus 1. So you have a maximum of 6. So what did you roll? 
Oh, D4 plus one. So I got five combat armor. Okay, you got combat a, armor. Okay, that's what I put in. I was like, I feel like I'm dumb here, but it's got to be on a list somewhere. Yeah, there is there is the, the armor table. So I got the combat armor, which means minus D6 damage. Yeah, dude. And but plus two dr on agility tests including defense dope so hey I'm minus one agility plus another minus two agility hey remember what happened that that's i feel like this is foreshadowing remember yep. merkborg yep. no the guy white worms, the guy who never sorry. the guy who never got hit the entire session of rob black sludge got and how does shot. he die because yep. of the shitty agility, agility check and he got devoured by a worm and insta killed does happen all right so does happen so that is, um, oh, you took something from your employer when you left the force. So that's just a D6. Yep. Let's go back up. Where are you? Ooh, four. A heavy laser cannon. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, I am not a fast boy at all. No, like... but it's, detail, it's D12 damage, presence DR14 against people, bots, and animals. 3d12 damage presence dr10 against vehicles turrets or similar okay that's cool okay so if i go to uh equipment weapons so, here we go uh i can find the heavy laser dude this for anyone that can't see the or hasn't looked at the foundry module this one is insane yeah it's uh, awesome like holy crap What about your deployment? Have you rolled that yet? Oh, I can't find the heavy laser cannon. I'll roll the deployment while I look for that. My deployment, um, I'll roll the d6. I got and another four. Uh, okay. Mobile wasteland rig core, mowing down road runners, sabotaging rival infrastructure and burning what little nature was left. I, mean, I guess that makes sense if I have the, like if I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I have a giant laser cannon to hit hit all the stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's me. That that's is my you. Uh, discharge core killer. Are you gonna roll a name or are you going to? Uh, oh yeah, where's the one? name table at? I think it's at the end somewhere. There's some other things you well, got to do I though. Keep, I keep keep not just going to the index and just like clicking on the index. Holy shit, 6d10 times 1,000 debt. <laughs> so next, so you, cho you chose a randomized your character class. We did that. Followed all the classes, instructions for gear, abilities, hit points, debt, and glitches. We know all that. Um, next is roll for features, style, and obsession. Pages 54 to 57. So let's get down there. Let me roll my credits and debt here real quick. Last roll 2d6. Okay, we're at style. Last 10. Uh, 2d6 times 10 gave me a 4. So I feel like I didn't do that correctly. So it's just a 4 times 10, so 40 credits. Bro. And then I get to roll 3d6 times a thousand. 15. 15,000 debt. Ooh, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't actually looked at the co the price of things, so I don't know, like, what what is a lot of credits? Is it like yen, where it's like a video game's 50,000 yen, or what, what's going on? Or is it like... Oh, I, I think guess it's I could a look lot. I think it's a whole lot. If I remember <clears> correctly, especially when we played the module with Max, like, I feel like things cost a lot of money. Okay. So 40 credits, I don't think is very much at all. But we know though, in, in most games, just like video game RPGs, you usually find the better stuff anyway, right? You're rarely getting the cool shit from a merchant. So why don't you, Ryan, why don't you uh, roll your style? Not that I know what any of these styles mean, but why Wait, not? I have a quick question. Yeah, what's up? Um, if it doesn't specify, um, like, Mine says body and soul, roll 3d6 uh, plus 1 for strength and presence, and then it does the same thing, but minus 2 for knowledge. What about the other stats? Those are all 3d6, so if it's not listed, 
You'll just roll 3d6 straight, yeah. Hey, what do I do if I have zero HP? Should I just be really afraid? What? That, that's gotta be, that's impossible. You gotta have at least one. So I rolled a d6. It's yeah. d6 plus toughness. My toughness is a minus one. I rolled a one on d6. Oh, dang. You gotta have at least one. Okay, we're gonna, we'll, what, what, gonna does, does it say anywhere in there, like, must be at least one? I don't know. Did Let's you already see. break, you already broke the game, man. Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> typical, typical hunter, you know. <laughs> Next I'll blow up a moon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dope. Okay. All right. That's why God gave me one HP. I knew I'd be too powerful if I yeah. could live past somebody slapping me lightly. <laughs> All right, let me know when you're ready for style, Ryan. It's a D100 roll. I was still trying to find this heavy laser cannon, and I can't find it. Let me see if I can find it. Ooh, I'll roll for style. Go for it. Do I need to roll 100? D100, yeah. Uh, I got 52. 52 is... Minimal. Nice. <laughs> Minimal, all right. And okay, uh, right. what about your feature? That's another D100. Oh, you know what? It's probably underneath flat. Uh, 40. Yeah. 40 is glowing, re <laughs> glowing respirator. So maybe that's why you have one hit point. You just, you're on your last leg, dude. <laughs> yes, I was diving into the net, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I thought you were doing an impression there for a second. Oh, no. I was doing the analog Darth Vader, um, whatever that one character is from the other Star Wars movie, you know. Oh, uh, well, man, come on. I'm Morton Joe, dude. Uh, Mad Max. I saw whatever from, uh, whatever his name was. Uh, Rogue One. Oh. Okay. The best Star Wars movie. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, easily one of the only three that actually matters. <laughs> Hey. So we're we're meant to be very fragile, right? Yeah. Let, 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 yeah. Let, let's talk first about. Time we played Merkborg and people yeah. on the internet get all butthurt because we were like, oh, let us just roll another D four. Speaking. <laughs> oh, that's right. But like, you guys yeah, are a bunch of babies. Fragile. That's right. <laughs> so yeah, it's okay. almost like we wanted to play a stream. Like it's it's crazy how. Uh, people can play a game slightly differently than is written. I didn't set the book on fire either. So Get speaking mad. speaking of fragility viewers, uh, you can always donate a bless. You can see in the, uh, where can I point? Am I pointing the right way? Down in the left bottom left corner, we have this little, um, little rule hack where you guys can uh, purchase blesses which yield a D4 roll against any ability, um, ability check. For the players, and if you want to make their lives more difficult, you can always buy me a Bane. No pressure, just letting you know. So Ryan, anybody is anybody else ready for some style? Yeah, I'm down for some style. What page are we on for style? We are on page 54. And it's a D100 roll. So we already oh, know that... Oh, it's a giant, uh, beautiful pink page. Yeah, we, all, we know that Mr. 2D6 Goblins is a minimal guy with a, a glowing respirator. Very true. <laughs> I love the ad bot in this. Yeah, it's, it's just awesome. cracking me the fuck up. Yeah, the ad bot's really very funny. I was like, oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> so perfect. 500. What? 500? Oh, 50. No. Um, mimic? Mimic. I guess you just copy people. Interesting. And why don't you roll it? I get a feature too? Yeah, D100 again. Another 50? Oh, Ooh, 52. Oh my God, I okay. 52. Woo. So you got lace trimmings. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny in my head, I was going to go, well, I can just flip them uh... if I don't really like it. Um, and it's the same shit. Man, you're a fancy boy. No, I could <clears throat> flip it though, because then no, it would be minimal 
and an Get interesting style. Wait, 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 wait. What, what do you mean flip it? You can't flip it. You rolled well, 52. I rolled two D100s. I can do whatever the fuck I want with my character. But um, whoa, I whoa, can just whoa, do whoa, one whoa, one whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, my brother. So pumped. I know. Look at this punk. Hey, I'm trying to be all punk. core killer. Don't tell me what. No, um, I feel like I'm saying like playing the same character I played in like every fucking game though. Yep, you're just like Austin just like in Death in Space. Yep. Yep. I'm probably but gonna use the same lace filter. Trimmings. I do have lace <laughs> trimmings. <laughs> You gotta yeah. keep the lace trimmings, dude. Yeah, honestly, that might be a permanent staple of any character you give from now on. <laughs> I'm down for lace trimmings. I just don't know what to do with Mimic, though. I, I legitimately might reroll that one because I just don't know where they were even going with Mimic. What is Beastie? Beastie? Is that what you roll? Beastie? Like an animal. Okay. I'm so, like, little... your outfit, you look like your, st your, your style looks like a beast. You, you, you can interpret these any way you want. There's literally, there's no explanation to any of this stuff. It's just kind of like, go with it. Okay. Did you roll another okay. D100, Jess? I no. did, yeah, because honestly, I just couldn't... Like, what would you do with Mimic as a style? So 94... Oh, a thousand styles, what are you mimicking? I feel like oh, you would... 94 is Tech Noir. Oh. So I'll take some lacy Tech Noir. Okay. I think a Mimic, you're just... I don't know, maybe you, you, the people you hang out with, you start to copy, emulate, depending on who it is. Too dumb for that. <laughs> I have a radiant eyebrows. Nice. Are East, they, now the question East is, are they, <laughs> are they eyebrows. thick 2010 plus eyebrows or are they thin 1990s Fuck no. eyebrows? No, they're yeah. probably like 20. 15. I don't, I'm not allowing any thick eyebrows on the stream, so. Worst. Not? You're not allowing, or you're not allowed no. to have. I'm just, eyebrows. I'm just fucking around, but yeah. I'm beast. She, that, that's, that's a, that's a joke between her and I. You get it? She knows. Very she knows. thick eyebrows. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with eyebrows. I'm a big fan of the twenty thousand. Anyone that lived in the nineties <laughs> knows that the thin eyebrows was not a look. Like I don't know Too why. Thin. Well, dude, eyebrows yeah. isn't a look either. That's all I'm saying. Whoa. Are you saying I had dude eyebrows? No, 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 no. I'm not saying anything. Like that. that sounds like what you're saying. It's kind of how it sounded, but... Maybe he fine. should be in the kitchen. <laughs> I was, actually, today. He was today, cleaning. It was great. Uh, <laughs> all right, so... Lace Tech Noir. Tech Noir with lace trimmings. All right. So, who else needs to roll a style? Does anybody else have some cool combos? What about you, Ducky? You've been pretty quiet. I'm still trying to figure out the, uh, like my feet and where to put that on my character sheet. Let me see if I can help you. Did you? Oh, feet. I was <laughs> thinking actual feet. Oh. <laughs> where to put your feet. Oh. On the ground, drag, on the ground. Did you drag your class into your character sheet already? Or are you just trying to fill it in manually? I dragged it in. Um, and oh, then I rolled. It in, I've been filling it out manually. So if you go to the right on oh this is this your first time in Foundry? It is. I just did it. So I got gotcha. you. Okay. You found the compendium and pulled it over. Oh, I've been searching through all of it, and I was like, oh okay, yeah. I I had my character sheet open and the burn hacker at the same time. So yeah, I, I got. It. Oh yeah, you. Thank you. There you go. Mm -mm. Can't. Do we get any starting equipment past weapons um, and armor? Uh, uh, let me credits scroll. and dead. Credits and dead. Okay. Yeah, because if yeah, you're classless, if you, that's when you get all your gear, I think. Yeah. Yeah. If you okay. click on, if you click on the discharge core killer, like the little like. Um, yeah. You have uh, instructions for in gear. The box, yeah, it'll it'll give you two things. It'll give you like your little breakdown, and on the right, it tells you like everything you roll and what you start with. Okay. Cool. So I like just like I start dead, with. I already have the cyber deck put down, so I have the cyber deck. Um, and okay, neat. Very cool. So where is, let's see, Ducky, what did you roll again? Who are you? Uh, Forsaken Gangu. For second, Forsaken Gangu. Let's go check that yeah. out while we're working on this. Bam, there we go. Okay, Forsaken Gang Goon. Did you already roll your uh, your gang and your specialty? 
Um, yeah. So I, I found where I could put the uh, feet, but I don't know where I could put my specialty. Where do you get the feet anyway? Isn't that is that not the specialty? Is that something else? I had me roll for it. Oh, okay. I'm not entirely sure how I got there. So stealthy all presence. What, yeah, what I don't. Feet? Did you go classless? What feet did you go with? What, which one's got a feet on oh, it? Oh, I, so I went down to the roll table, um, down the compendium, and then. Oh. Yeah. I think. Like that. But I don't so think McGlinlock's it, saying yeah, there should be there an should item be items drag to from inside the class. So like if yeah. you actually just click on the class itself, like the little like um, folder itself, um, like you can drag in fencing, forsaken gangoon, hits, stealthy. Oh, okay. So what was your feat? Uh, it was cleanup. Yeah, so if you click on, if you open the, like, quote unquote, open the folder by clicking on it in the compendium, it'll bring up a list of all of that and just drag the cleanup one onto your sheet. Oh, okay. Sweet. Got it. So, what's up, everybody? What do we want to roll next? I don't know, but I'm loving it. Yeah, this is my first time using Foundry, and I'm having a really good time. Yeah, right now. dude. Oh, this is awesome. It's Foundry or nothing, man. Is, yeah, so much better it. than yeah. like everything. I have a else. question. Yeah, what's up? Um, so my um class burned hacker, I get to roll for Let's go to the burn app hacker. I built. Yeah. Um, I just get to that. I ha I have that app, right? Yep. Okay, sick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which you app built an you app? Get? Yeah. What did you get? I got copy swap. Copy oh, swap. Yeah. So you can Copy actually swappy. just drag that onto your character sheet. Yeah, where, so for where D10 is? rounds, all tech will mistake you for another person within 30 meters and vice versa. That's cool. So if you, same thing, if you go to Compendium and you go to where you see like the, 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 the whatever, the burn hacker, click <laughs> on it and it'll open up another pop-up window and all of your apps will show okay. up and then you drag it in. I was looking I at it earlier. Really I, 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 guess I, just, I guess I just read past it in the rest of the list, but... Um, okay, so my understanding is I get that, and then I also I have a cyber deck with knowledge plus, plus four slots, and then I get another random app. Dang, another random app? Yeah, time reading it. Any rolled now for something this place? Okay. Okay. Start with a cyber deck with a knowledge with knowledge plus four slots and a random app. Any rolled nano or cyber tech is replaced with a new random app. Roll D eight for weapon, D two for armor, and okay. Right. Um. We also, are we going to do these optional tables? Like the wants, the quirk, and the obsession? Yeah, man. Let's do it. Let's make sure everybody's not too far left behind. Does anybody need uh, help with anything in Foundry or have any questions? I rolled good now. for an ancient blade, but I'm not finding it. Thick. An ancient blade. It might be in your character individually. What are you again? Uh, renegade slasher. Yeah, if you click on, if you go to the compendium and click on where it says clash slash renegade cyber uh, slasher, it's the same thing. There it'll, we go. And it'll I, pull it. Okay, I drag it onto my file. Is that what I, do? I think I had the ancient blade when I played the renegade cyber Stark with Matt or with Max. Hunter. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the renegade cyber slasher is cool because you have to roll like that weird. It, I feel like it's very like um. Fuck, what's that movie? Where he's obsessed with this card and he's like a corporate guy you rolled pc initiative american psycho oh yeah american psycho yeah because he's like obsessed about something and i think the renegade cyber session is like obsessed about like watering their plants or like keeping their skin clean or has like some weird obsession right um kind of seems like it like you could start your day by doing yoga and meditating nice yeah. but i start my day by strengthening my inner demon through a <laughs> chaos magic ritual oh okay is that canon yeah oh that's yeah sick <laughs> <It is. laughs> 
Okay, so when I want to add something to my like weapons, I just drag it in. Yep. Yeah. You just okay. you can open up like the weapon, the combat tab, and just drag it into the combat tab. All right. Did everybody roll their um, their style? <laughs> yeah. Everybody I just did? did like an attack roll just to test out, and I immediately broke my weapons. So <laughs> that's how. That's how we're gonna start off next session. <laughs> um, That'll be the hook scene. What What did everyone get for their style? I got Tech Noir Lace for my my freaking discharge core killer. So that's fun. Uh, I'm a you know, minimalist with a glowing respirator, so you know. So minimalist. And what did you get, Jess? You got a beastie something? Yeah, beastie with like what is the word? Let's see. Radiant eyebrows. Is yeah, that radiant. Oh, that's right. And Ducky, what did you yeah. get? This means manly. <clears throat> I got a doom yeah. troop with ritual scarifications. Oh, okay. Doom, doom, doom nice. troop. This doom troop. What number was that? Doom uh, troop is thirty-two. Yeah. Wow. Doom troop. Okay. So if we're ready to move on, let's talk about the uh, where the quirks at. Oh wait, one more question. Yeah. For armor, where do we find out? What role equals what armor? Uh, that is, we just found that. It, I got it right here. It's up on screen. So, what'd you get? I rolled. Wait a second. Where did I put it? I'm working on a laptop here. Um. Oh God, what did I roll? Where did I put it? Uh. Wait, now I have to pull up my character. Sorry. Oh God, I got a pop up. Uh, Did you? Is that when you rolled a niche party initiative? Is that what you think thought you were doing, or was that just an accident? <clears throat> that was probably an accident. Okay. Wait, how do I get to? Oh, there. Got it. Okay. Uh, two. I rolled two. Sorry. You rolled a two, so you got um, Style Guard. It's tier one. Looks just like clothes, it says. So um, that gives you negative D2 damage. So yeah, people out there, if you're not if you're not um, familiar, this is a damage soak game. So it's not just like hit an AC and take damage. Uh, there's damage soak in the armor, which is really cool. I, I prefer that much more than I do, like hit or miss. So you said styled <clears throat> style 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 guard all one word yeah all right so now we just drag that in too where are we rolling at now where are we going uh, i think we're on the wants quirks obsessions and what page is that uh it's the one right after style it's the yellow page it's oh page 6, uh, gotcha okay oh here we go So, for once, uh, we want to roll a d20, everybody, if you haven't already. So, Ducky got a two. Burn it all down, baby. That goes really well with your Doom Troop. And then, um, Ryan got a four. Drugs, of course. Yeah, um, Typical. Hunter got a 13. Me, the, the big old run here. <laughs> revenge. Ooh. What are you trying to get revenge for? I guess we'll have to find out. Uh, Jess got a 16, which is um, see others fail. Okay. I like that. We're going to have a conflict within the party. Okay. Next up is Quirks, everybody. Another D20. Ryan got a two. Chews on hair. <laughs> you should chew on your lace. Um, Hunter got an 18. Uh, scratches facial scar. Okay. 
Just mm. got a one. I want revenge from the person who gave that scar. There you go. Perfect. See, it, 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 it writes itself. Nose picker so bad. Oh, I know. Is nose picker in here? Another one? Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. I'll Let, keep rolling until I do. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, if, if you guys out there didn't know, uh, Ducky played, um, what was it? Horror deni denies the flesh. Was that it? Abe? We called you Abe. Yeah. And he had a he had a quirk in Morkborg where it was uh, he picks his no nose so hard it bleeds. Um, so Jess, you got a Very chain cool. smoker. Yep. And Ducky, wait, are you guys both chain smokers? Yes. Man, see, I, oh, this is why you. this is why I love roll tables, man. They start creating a story. Uh, okay, current obsession is a D one hundred, everybody. So Hunter got a four. AI poetry. Beautiful. Perfect. You got the you got the, the latest version of chat GBT, man. <laughs> Ryan got a twelve. Uh belts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man. Um, I wanna play this game, damn it. Um Ducky got a twenty two. Experimental stimuli. Okay. And Jess, you got a 39, which is um, history sims. Oh. History buff. Yeah. Listen to hardcore history nonstop. Yes. Yep. Well, I guess it's simulations, right? So it's reenactments. I don't know. Okay, cool. What else we got to roll, guys? Is that it? Uh, no, well, I mean, we've some of us already rolled our weapons, but we also uh, yeah. get to roll a weapon. Uh, I, uh, I rolled a mono sword. Oh, that's, that's cool. sweet. What does that even mean? I wonder. <laughs> like a, a mono sword is like mono there's one blade, right, on the sword anyway. Not in the future. Does yeah. it just have mono? Is it infected? Yep. Oh, I gave everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what about everybody else? Did you guys all roll your uh, weapons? So we yeah. roll weapons on top of whatever. I know. Is that part of the? Well, well, it's it's part of your class. So like you oh. get to roll, like it, it'll it says it right at the beginning too. Like everyone, you also begin with one of these D12 or by class and D4 mags if applicable. So I guess. Do we just yeah. get an ancient blade or ancient blade? I think plus. I don't know because. Machete. Let me let me look at your um because it doesn't say. Where does it say roll weapons anywhere on the character creation? I don't see that. I just see. So I have mine. Um. Is it in your like class? Right under, like my cyber stuff. So it's on my it's on the class. Yeah. I think oh. It's also and... like in your little thing in the foundry if you pop up your class and oh. tell you what to roll. Yeah, okay. mine says like weapon table and armor table. So I already rolled on my armor. Yeah. Got so it. I got one item from. So unless we're not rolling on the weapon table and we're just getting the item. I, like I feel like it's, yeah, I feel like it's whatever it says in the class description, right? Yeah. My well, class like, for example, is to roll. Yeah, like for example, like, yeah. Oh, wait, your class description says roll. Yeah, roll D6 for weapon and D2 for armor. Yeah. Is what the is what Ducky said. So mine says I have too many throwing knives, so I'm gonna be this guy, you know. But Jess is a renegade cyber I'm I'm trying to read where I don't see where it says oh. roll weapons. Where is okay. the Okay. Yeah, maybe it's just my So player. you don't yeah. You don't get to roll like same thing with me. I don't think I get to roll yeah, it starts uh, with weapons because it, you have a big ass starting, cannon, right? Yeah, yeah. One of the starting things is our weapon. Yours is your weapon. Ducky doesn't roll with a weapon to start. That's why he rolls on the weapon table. Makes uh, sense. Okay. So yeah, I guess if it's not described in your reader. class, yeah, you you roll standard. But I do. But mine does say roll on armor, which I already did. Yep. You get cyber tech. You know, you get to. True. Did you already roll your D12 cyber deck? Cyber tech? Uh, I did, but I don't know where to find where where I 
find out what that is. I rolled a one. It's probably in the compendium. Let's see. Oh, on your cyber attack for your character. Yeah, it's uh, there's a compendium. Um, oh, but it's not listed, so you gotta. Cybertech, you roll a one, you have retracting cyberclaws. Oh, yeah. oh, that's cool. That is fun. Very Wolverine, you know. Yep. Very beastie. Yeah. It is very beastie. Yeah, they even have a picture of the cyberclaws on the uh, on the statue here. Is beastie like furry? <laughs> I'm a furry. <laughs> Could be. You're a furry. Yeah. What animal? Um, that's a great question. Something okay. with long claws, right? Happy Barra. No. Um, <laughs> a sloth? <laughs> sloth. Yeah. A sloth? You're yeah, really you're slow. Claws, right? Yeah, that's what you should do. You should just. I might be really slow. Actually. You should just take, like, half speed. <laughs> Go See, all out. Um, is negative one. All right. So, oh, and then uh, we have debt, and then oh, I rolled my debt already, but then I get we get to roll a I get to roll a d12 to who it's for. Yep. Uh, ooh, I rolled oh a one. Crime Syndicate. I, I definitely stole the table at the bottom oh, of this page for something later. A semi-sentient alien cluster slowly building up its influence. AI cluster, you 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 uh, you sold your debt to Chat GVT that's all through <laughs> this game. Listen, I was sure I could win that chess game. It's not my fault that it was smarter than me. <laughs> you know what I think is the funniest thing with AI? It's finally it's it's finally got to a point where it's like semi believable, and one of the first things that happens on the internet, AI porn. I'm so unsurprised. Yeah. Well, the porn industry yeah. revolutionized web streaming video. So there you go. Yeah. Right? We get web video. Honestly, shout out porn, I guess. Yeah. So, <laughs> weird stance we're taking tonight, but Sponsored whatever. by porn. Thanks, porn. <laughs> um, oh, but the, the table underneath this, how badly do they want their cash back? Roll a D6 and one through six is very... <laughs> That's one of the funniest things this entire book. I, I love it so much. Very. What? What? Who do you guys owe your money to? Chain smoker and Beastie Girl. Uh, I haven't got. That. Where's that table? What page? Uh, on the armor page on the right, it says you have a debt. Page oh, 16. got it. Here we go. I got it up on the screen now. You have a debt of three d six times one thousand. Two d twelve. Fifteen thousand. <laughs> yeah, I, let me look at the I, my I'm, highest, my highest three d six roll of the entire day was for my. For my <laughs> uh, let me see how much stuff costs. Okay, stuff is not that expensive. So, like a backpack is five credits, clothes ten. Uh, well, no combat armor that I got is ten thousand credits. Oh, I'm looking at. Why do I? Oh, okay. So, like a cyber deck is one thousand credits. DNA bomb is 1,000. Drone suit, 400. Okay. Weapons for sale. I mean, it yeah. varies. Like a first aid kit's only 50. Ooh, a ch ooh I might actually, I might actually uh, use all of my credits and buy something else. Yeah, that, that too. You guys can always spend your money if you want to before even we start the session. So we roll D12 to figure out who we owe our money to? Yeah, did you already roll how much your debt is? Yeah, 12,000. Okay, so then roll a d12, and then, yeah, it's on the list, so let me know what you, let's see what you got. 10. 10 is someone oh, you trust hospitalized yeah. with increasing medical bills. Oh. Okay. Um, that's appropriate. I owe my debt to a gang run by my childhood bully. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Right. I, Is that I, it? I feel like that's the end of, of most of the creation, and then we can just keep going through, like... Yeah, it's, well, it's I, all I like... I remember this drugs page. Yeah, drugs. Drugs page is great. Yeah, there's a whole table of backlashes. We got to remember when, uh, when the apps go off, the nanopowers yep. and infestations... 
I gotta be honest, I was really hoping to get the uh, Shun Necromancer or whatever. Nanomancer. Nanomancer, yeah. Is, are, is there a names table in this book, though? I, I believe... I feel I like there is. There is. There is it, yeah, there is. Right at the beginning? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. I got it up here on screen. So, um, the D66. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's, 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 yeah, or 2D6. Like the better? D6 and a D6. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. But you can just look at what you rolled and get your 2D6s. Yeah, you can do that too, of course. Yeah. yeah, I got a, I got a four and a six. Four and Reeve. a six. Six. Reeve, what that's a cool name. Table? Zalek. It's uh, uh page one. It's like thing, the inside yeah. cover. The very first thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're five two. Shade. Shade. Ooh, oh look at you. Oh, dude, I'm gonna Shade. Be our, I'm gonna be our, this episode, I'll be our edge. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna start. This is the game of that. No yeah. one knows me. So Ryan, you are Reeve, and yeah. Hunter, you are what? Shade. Shade. <laughs> Like, is there a Y in that, or just? Dude, no, it's, it's just... all lies. It's just, it's just all lies all the way through. Um... And what about Jess and Duck? Did you guys roll a name yet? Um, mine's M. It's Moan. Moan. In Swedish, but Maine in English. <laughs> Wait. We'll just call you Moan. Moan. I'm gonna call you Mo. How do you spell Mo? it? M A with O over the top N E. Oh, I don't know the so it's like shortcut for that. You have to hold the A down. I have to hold the wait. What? Hold the A down? What do you mean? Hold an A down. And just hold it down. It should. It just keeps some um, typing A's. Oh, never mind. It usually gives you <laughs> options. Are you on a phone? Is that what you're? No. Oh on my Max. gosh, these kids these days. No. Ugh. No. Max do that. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Ugh. How do I? Can I put a picture in, or are you uh, putting the pictures in? Because I'll just use the one directly from the book. Uh, you can do it. The character art is so good. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Um, what about you, Ducky? Do you roll a name yet? Yeah, my name is Fu. Fu? F U? Yeah. Uh, we should just call you yeah. F U. Fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> F you, man. Okay, so I'm updating this. You guys should see your names reflected very shortly. We have names, everybody. I'll figure out the umlaut thingy. It's like an alt code, right? It's on umlaut. <laughs> what is it again? Maybe this fo this font this though. font might not even have it. I don't even know. It's like some weird cyberpunk font. You probably copy and paste it online somewhere. Yeah. I have it in the chat if you want to copy and paste it. Oh, you do? What chat? Huh. Switch. It's the little... Uh, we got our Swede. Oh, you know it's... Do you speak Swedish too? On top of Russian and everything? Swedish, all oh, vowels are pronounced. Monet. So... Oh, Monet. Nice. Monet. I'm actually more of a painter. Monet, see? I liked Gucci names better though, you know? <laughs> yeah, Gucci. <laughs> What chat did you put it in, Jess? No, the chat uh, chat, like the. Oh, the chat the chat. chat. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, let me let me see if this copy and paste requires here. permission to to upload art. No permission for you. There we All go. Right. It works. So I'll update that. Matts, what is that that letter called? Does it have a name? A with the O. A with the O. All right, it should be um, culturally correct <laughs> right now. Thanks. It's called A. <laughs> that was like 
when I asked him if Moomin was an elephant, he said, no, it's a Moomin. And I was like, <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. Um, anything else we need to do? Um, I was going to try to pick a snap filter, but my snap camera is just spinning. Not working? And spinning. You got to get some analog shades, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, and some lace. I got to get some... So, yeah, I got with some frilly <laughs> outfits next time, bro. You know what's crazy? And this is so, like, whatever. But, like, the, one of the things that went through Instagram or whatever was people, like, making lace. That's crazy. How mm -hmm. they, like, hand make lace. I understand. Yeah. It's expensive for a reason. Shit's crazy. Um, mm -hmm. That's why I only have one lace shirt, you know? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Ryan's next stop is AliExpress. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Um, what else can we do for this? We have names. Can we do all um, the tables? I guess we can briefly go over the rules if you guys want to. As a as yeah, a little I mean, at least the as a little rules yeah combat rules. Like... All right. So did you guys do pocket lint? Uh, I think that's when oh, you're you searching a body. I think too. that's. Oh, okay. No, nah, that's that's like a table for me. I think if you're like, hey, I want to search this body or something, maybe, and then uh, that's gotcha. what you find. Because on the oh, merc board, is anyone gonna spend their credits? How many credits did people get? Because I wouldn't. I got one ten, but I can't really get anything that I want. You know. Oh, maybe I'll. Where is combat? Sorry, I'm having given everybody I would a like. Show. Something that's not so I imagine my heavy laser rifle like uh so aliens also yeah. a great movie, not as good as Alien. You know the um the lady marine? I can't remember her name. Ripley? Oh, Alright, she's not a she's not a marine. I named my fucking dog Ripley, yeah. No, the in aliens there's like Oh the James Cameron the buff chick. And then she has like the laser thing that's literally like a piece of gear that she has to wear because it's so big it like helps her like carry it around. You know what I mean? Mm. I yes. imagine the heavy heavy laser rifle is like something like that. Like the whole like the the way to carry it has to let her to be like attached to me because it's so big. Vasquez, thank you, Jacob. Yeah, Vasquez. All right, combat rules. Picture. Initiative. It's pretty, uh, pretty familiar. It's Merkborg initiative. So it's uh, roll a d6, one, one to three. Enemies act first. Four to six. PCs act first. And if necessary, which we'll probably do, because um, we're playing on VTT, is individual initiative is agility plus d6. Um, all right, that's to determine who acts first within the group. Oh, never mind. That's cool. So anything melee, you're going to be testing your strength. The dr12. Then roll for damage. Range is. Uh, there's a couple of ranged attacks here. So single shots, you're testing presence. Uh, but if you're doing auto fire, you test agility to hit and then roll for damage. But hits also allow a second attack against either the same target or another one nearby to up to a maximum of three attacks. That's pretty cool. Check armor for each hit. Uh, we have drone combat, drones capable of attacking. Do so either under the direct control of the pilot using their action and blah, blah, blah. I guess we don't need to worry about that right now. Uh, crits here, uh, 20, obviously. You get double damage. Uh, and this is one of my favorite rules. It's also on Merkborg is target's armor cover is also, not only armor, but cover is reduced by a tier because we'll know that there's some optional rules in here for cover because you got projectiles. Defense, for those of you who don't know, um, the players are always rolling. I'm never rolling. So when somebody attacks them, they roll to defend. Um, but if you crit on defense, you get a free attack. Uh, fumble. Those are always fun. That's what um, Hunter just did a little while ago. Uh, so natural one, one attack. Uh, roll, a one to th roll a one to three. You're out of ammo. You also drop the weapon or otherwise make it unusable until an action is spent fixing it. Four to five, your weapon misfires and breaks. It has been repaired outside of combat or has to be repaired outside of combat. Six is your weapon explodes or otherwise hurts you for T6 damage. It is beyond repair. That's interesting because, um, you know, normally uh, the lower you roll, it's worse, I feel like, even though it doesn't matter. It's the same percentage. Uh, defense, PC takes double damage and the armor cover is reduced by one tier. But when the smoke clears, count your bullets, roll D8. Or D6 if you use auto fire for each weapon you have fired. This is very similar to um, 
uh, Death in Space too, right? Where uh, you're checking to see if it goes down like a, like if it, if it loses, I can't even remember what the term was. But it's it like needs a to, tier. It's like a yeah. die size tier or something like that. Yeah. yeah. And if you roll a one to three, indicates your mag is empty and has to be replaced. That's, wasn't that? Uh, I really like the Frontier Scum version too, where you, you're rolling like. You, you there's no like bullets. It's just you're yeah. out if you roll a six kind of thing or, or one whatever it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Like you get you get like a uh, each of your slots or whatever is like an endless supply of ammo until you roll a one, and then that means you ran out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much better than actually trying to keep track of it. Yeah, and then if there's still time, you can catch your breath, wipe your brow, restore brow, restore D4. So HP, that's the short rest equivalent, basically. And these are cool. So these are optional combat rules, but I will definitely be using them because they're awesome. You need cover, right? So cover, uh, taking cover reduces the chance of getting hit by ranged attacks, increase DR to hit the cover target, or lower the DR to defend while covered. So light cover um, is plus or minus two DR. Could be an office cu cubicle, car door, hostage. I like that one. Explosive gas tank. Heavy cover is plus or minus D4. Concrete wall, cyber bike, bulletproof glass reactor. And when an attack misses a cover target, heavy cover becomes light cover. Light cover is destroyed. I like that. That's awesome. Just explodes. So aiming, so you can also take some time to aim. Yeah, spend one of spend one round aiming at your target to receive either a negative two DR to hit or plus two damage. Uh, I would definitely take the DR, I think, for most situations. Because <laughs> standard DR in this game is 12 on a D20. So range, uh, close range is arm's length or less. Long range is farther than a room away. Um, I like this because it gives you rules for firing at close range. Plus two DR. Auto fires deals uh, plus two damage at close range, negative two at long range. Hits always hurt. Hits always deal a minimum of one damage regardless of armor reduction. That's really cool. So regardless, you're taking something. Uh, then there's suppressive fire. Spend a mag using an automatic weapon to suppress up to D3 targets. Suppressed PCs can either get out of the way. Uh, they can stand their ground or defend against a uh, DR-14 auto fire attack and suppressed NPCs test morale. So morale's cool. If you guys aren't familiar, that's, um, I think it's like, uh, what are the rules? When there's a single PC left or a single NPC uh, left with 25% HP or something like that, or if like the goon, the leader is killed and that could be um, that they, uh, they either surrender or they run away or something like that. So that's a good way to help uh, <laughs> minimize the uh, really long combat sessions that are inherent to a lot of RPGs. Uh, okay, and then finally we have, um, I guess the game master decides when a character should improve. It can be after completing a mission or two, fulfilling a set targets or getting enough credits. And there's the rules there, so. It's very similar to uh, getting better or worse in Merkboard. But I guess that's it, everybody. These are just some uh, creatures and NPCs who can fight. And then I'm not going to scroll too far because the adventure we're going to run next week is at the very end of the book. So why don't we do like a round table and just talk about each character really quickly. Get a full picture. So let's start with um, Monet. I probably yeah. said that completely wrong. Tell us about um, Monet. I'm going to have to practice that. Monet. Yeah, if Matt uh, keeps watching the streams, we gotta know, practice. We gotta practice. <laughs> um, I feel like you gotta really separate it when it's weird. It's like Monet. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Please say it like that every time. Sorry, 100% of the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say what? What was your name again? Excuse me. What was your Monet. name again? Monet. <laughs> um, All right. Let's let's go to your class really quick, and then yeah, go ahead and let everybody know what you are and what you're about. I'm a renegade slasher right here. with two hit points. Uh, uh, I won't read the whole like death incarnate thing, but um, let's see. I start my day by strengthening my inner demon through chaos magic ritual. My trench coat hides my ancient blade that is claimed uh, 1.000 souls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, you got to be specific, man. You got to be mm -hmm. 
-hmm. precise. I also happen to have retractable claws. That's cool. Um, so is it full on Wolverine, like back of the hands thing, or is it like through your fingertips or what is it? Is it like little claws that come out of your, your fingertips? Like a, uh, like a cat? Yeah. I oh, you're so. a sloth, right? You pick sloth as your beast, yeah. your spirit animal, right? <laughs> Just like this. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> um, be like climbing. Yeah. Um, I want others to fail. I'm a oh, smoker. that's right. I smoke with my two little sloth claws. I like that. Um, I'm obsessed with history sims. I have radiant eyebrows, and I'm kind of beasty, and I owe twelve thousand. Dollars? I don't know. Credits. I don't know what the currency is. What is it? Credits. Credits. It's little little weird asterisks. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. To someone I trust hospitalized with increasing medical bills. Okay. Cool. And what was your name again? No, I'm kidding. Monet. <laughs> God, this is going to be awful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan. Why don't you tell us about Reeve? What's up with Reeve? Yeah, so Reeve, this is Reeve, this is me. I'm a discharge uh, core killer. Like, let me scroll back up to that. Oh that yeah, let me... me. Yeah, I'll go to your. Yeah. Your little. I'm a uh, good soldier in bad company, always fighting someone else's war in the name of greed. Capitalism crushed my enthusiasm quickly enough, and I was discharged without severance. The corp wants me dead. Oh, so okay. that means I used to fight for a corporation. Yep. And then got kicked out because fuck capitalism. Um, so I um, uh, my deployment when I was with the corp was uh, in the mobile wasteland rig corps, um, uh, where I was mowing down roadrunners, sabotaging rival infrastructure, and burning what little nature was left. Uh, when I left my employer, I took with me my heavy laser cannon which I have decided is works like the, I believe it's called the M56 smart gun from Aliens 2. It's basically, since I also have combat armor, it's like rigged up. So it's on like almost like a steady cam thing. So it can like be carried and like slotted away. Um, basically, I assume it's like the giant thing in his arms in the picture, but like on a steady cam setup. Um, I, um, since I was discharged, uh, I have changed my style up a bit. I now rock Tech Noir with lace trimmings. So I got lace coming out from underneath my, my, uh, my heavy, my heavy combat armor. Um, I'm into drugs. I chew on my hair. And, uh, lately I've been really into belts. A lot of belts. And lot lace. Of belts. belts and lace. Awesome. Yeah, belts and lace. Okay, that yeah. is Reeve. Um, Ducky, let us tell us about Fu. Yeah, so Fu is a forsaken gang goon. Um, I ran with the only gang to have my back and not treat me like slum trash. Uh, they were my family. I bled. I stole for them. I killed for them. Uh, but I mm. since uh, broke the only rules that separate a criminal from a monster, so I have left on bad terms. Um, so I currently now just want to burn it all down uh, while being a chain smoker. And uh, I owe my debt to a gang run by my childhood bully. It's always a bully, man. Cool. Every time. All right, last but not least, Mr. Hunter, tell us about Shade. Shade, the, the minimalist burned hacker who's kept alive by a respirator. But guys, listen, none of that matters because rogue AI are flocking to Psy City. No one knows but me. Uh, yeah, so uh, Shade is a burned hacker who learned uh, the secret rogue AI coming to Psy, and that's why he was burned. Um, he uh, owes a lot of money to a semi-sentient AI cluster that I can only... Uh, believe that he lost um, money to in some weird backroom crypto scam. Um, and he wants revenge for that loss of money. Okay. Um, he's really, really into um, the idea of AI poetry um, and whether a creation itself can create. And aren't we all creations of God, guys? So are you obsessed with it in that you're, like you said, you're not sure that, that AI can 
can actually create something or are you like obsessed with it as like you love it like you want just more and more I think I'm and obsessed recite with it. it as like the pinnacle of like this penultimate like we we are creations of a higher power that create and can that creation ah. of us create itself genuinely okay you know got it it's yeah. more philosophical then absolutely okay yeah, i'm gonna play this guy real weird he's gonna be totally crazy <laughs> can't wait Okay, um, well that is, that's it. This is uh, our cyborg, our punks that we are going to play uh, starting next Thursday at 7 p.m. PST. We're going to be running the uh, the introductory adventure that comes with the book, so if you got it, don't read it unless you want to be spoiled. Uh, but who knows what's going to happen. Um, that's that's all I got. Thank you, McGlintlock, again for the uh, the text, the literal live text support in the chat, as well of, as Always. well as crafting this amazing Foundry module. So uh, Carl, cool. yeah, man, and uh, Carl Casey, thank you for the the sweet synth tunes, man. We'll be rocking them next week, um, and and of course, you guys out there in the chat, thanks so much for hanging out with us, uh, sitting through us creating these characters. Uh, we, you will get to see them, see what uh, mischief they get up into get into next week. So, any other announcements we would like to make? Oh, if you're watching us on YouTube, like and subscribe, you know all that stuff because we're pushing toward a thousand. We're trying to really Make that final, final push where we can, um, not that we're looking to monetize, but just, you know, get more visibility. Ryan, you were going to say something, sorry. No. Uh -huh. Oh, nothing? I was, just, I was just stretching. Okay, well, thanks again for joining us. And we will see you next week. Uh, stick around, we got a little thank you screen. I don't think anybody donated anything, but no worries. And uh, oh, well, there's a bunch of stuff going on when you were like, there's a symbol, there's a symbol. Um, oh, yeah, the hype train. Oh, there, yeah, the, the hype train, the hype train. We didn't get any blessed or banes, though, right? I don't know. I've, oh, I've shit. blessed, but I can't bless. So. Anybody in the chat, do you guys remember any blesses and banes? I guess I could scroll all the way up. Yeah, I'm, say I'm scrolling up right now. Because I want to make sure they get it if you guys We should call it. them something besides blesses and banes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I see one. Yeah, we could we could Can rename we talk them. About? What are we gonna call glitch what and we call? uh glitch and um well, there's already glitches, right? There's already glitches. glitches. Oh shit, that's right. There's the omens. Um we'll we'll we'll, we'll, uh, figure we'll it think out. of some type of techie techie majigger thingy for next time. So I'm seeing that um let's see here. Skull casted bless. But I don't Dang, see Skull him. Dropped a thousand biddies too. Glad I got yeah. you in time. Hey. Soon slap. I don't see uh, if he said who that would go to though. Yeah, he cheered. Uh, yeah. Um, what else we got here? I think that was Ooh, it. Overclocked and viruses. Ooh. Ooh. I like stims and bugs though. That's a good one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So you guys, you guys are. You guys get stems, and yeah, I'm the bug. And, and you get bugs. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna change it right on stream, right live, guys. So we got, can I? Can Good I? live. Stem, S T I M, right? And then bug. All right, here we go. This is such a so. There we I mean, go. The people, and, and just uh, just just to say what a lot of people in our uh, in our YouTube say a bunch. The fucking visuals on this are crazy. Jason, this is all Jason, who does all the layouts, the insane fucking video that's like the preview for this. So when you're watching the stream and you're seeing it on YouTube and, and Twitter and all that kind of stuff, between Jason and I'm sure Jess as well, like this. All of the reason that this stream looks as fucking awesome as it does is these guys, including our new logo that drops. Um, the whole rebrand was all uh, was all Jess and Jason. So visually, this looks good because of these guys. So thank you guys so much for, yeah, man. for making this look fucking thank you, awesome. And thank you for the kind of words. I, I you know I gotta I, I gotta do my best to make people show up, right? Hopefully, give them something nice to look sure. at. So um, anyway, that's it. Any any final words? punks before we before we drop out no nothing okay that's it all right um are we gonna raid or are we just gonna call it oh uh let's let's do the thingy magic and then i'll find a raid okay again everybody thank you so much for hanging out with us we will see you next week where we will uh see what these peak these peaks these punks get up to
So see you next time. Thanks. Good night.